Hey guys, I just want to officially start this week's vlog. It's Friday evening, 6.40 to be exact. And I'm drinking iced coffee. I washed my hair. I worked all day. And now I need to pack because I'm going to the beach tomorrow. I was actually debating on if I wanted to go to Target tonight but it is so cold and rainy. Like it's literally 40 degrees outside right now. Mind you, last week it was 65, almost 70. Like I went to a whole outside wedding and was comfortable last Saturday. But here we are today. We can only take it one day at a time. Y'all, it's March 1st. New months, new blessings. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I am doing laundry so I can pack and get on the road tomorrow. Um, so this will probably be like a week long vlog. I'll probably take y'all to the beach, but it's supposed to be, the weather's supposed to be nasty. So I don't really know what we're gonna do. So I'm going to pack books and laptop and all the things just to make sure I have something to do all weekend, but yeah, I, I have so much laundry that I need to put up. I have three baskets. So while I'm sitting here talking to y'all, I could honestly be doing that. So let me go ahead and do that. And then maybe we can sit down and start, do, start to do some packing for this little weekend trip. Sound like a plan? I thought so. I thought it would be nice if I stopped in to say hi to Darnell. Who's Darnell? Y'all. His husband, Tony, you have met him five or six times. He's a baggage hand. Y'all. Okay. Sorry. I am trying to pack. I have been trying to pack for like the last, I don't know, two, three hours. I think I'm on, uh, I'm on episode seven of season one of Girlfriends. And I started it when I started packing. Um, so that's that i am terrible when it comes to packing i don't know what we're gonna be doing i just know it's my friend's birthday and i just want to make sure that i am you know packed for whatever she wants to do but also it's 60 degrees so i just have like random tops um i even i packed a bathing suit and a cover-up just in case I've got pajamas um so basically I think I just need to do oh I've got my jewelry I think I just need to do like my underwear and my like skincare and I don't know if I'm gonna pack any type of makeup and brushes I should be fine as far as bags because I don't see us going like out to a club or anything but maybe like bars and things so i think i'm finally packed but y'all i'm hungry <laughs> uh, hold on mm, i don't even know how much longer my battery is gonna last i have every light on in my apartment but it's fine because i'm not gonna be i mean even my dryer is still open it's fine though because i'm not gonna be here for a couple days i'm gonna unplug everything and turn my heat off okay so i'm hungry and i don't want to go out because it's raining i have no food in my refrigerator like none i just got a couple i got a couple olipops and <laughs> some tart cherry juice and my eco slave gel like that's literally all that i have in my refrigerator I live like such a bachelor sometimes. But listen, I got these grilled cheese, right? But I don't have a toaster. So I don't know how I can cook these. But I'm about to try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I mean, yeah, literally, what's the worst that could happen? So I'm about to heat my oven up. What y'all think I should heat it to? Like 400, right? Like 400. That's what I cook my pizzas on. But I want this to be quick. Um. Oh, sorry. Start. 
So I'm supposed to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, set toaster to medium high settings, depending on your toaster, and toast the sandwich for one cycle. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is, it's gonna take longer than a few minutes. I just, oh look at it. It's so small. I can figure this out. I just need a little nourishment. Just a little bit. Last night I had popcorn, but I haven't I haven't had anything to eat other than that Olive Garden this morning. And well, that wasn't this morning. It was like two o'clock, but it's 9.30. So I just need something and I'm not leaving my house. And I intentionally like don't have any groceries because I knew I was going out of town this weekend, which also kind of sucks because when I come back on Monday, I'm also not gonna have any groceries and I'm not gonna feel like going to the grocery store and I also have book club. And then Tuesday is the release date for the Kennedy Ryan book and I'm going, going to go pick up my book and that whole situation, we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Isn't that right, amen? Okay, we're gonna let this oven heat up and we're gonna figure this out. I also don't have anything to drink other than those Olipops and water. I am terrible. Mm, battery on 13%, that's fine. All right, so we bite, okay? We gotta take this out. I gotta put this on a plate. I was about to just put it straight up in the microwave. Um, We're gonna put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. Like it said. We gonna use this pizza pan that I ruined. I put it in a dishwasher. I don't really like this pan, but so that's that on that. Anyways, while I was waiting on my oven to heat up, I was on TikTok and this lady said, the key to getting your life together is, oh, that's soggy. The key to getting your life together is shortening the time between thinking and doing. And that's exactly what I need to do. I think that that will get your girl's life together. And I'm glad I saw that on March 1st. So that is going to be the thing that is going to get me through. That is going to be the game changer for me. Okay. Shorten the time between thinking and doing. My issue is, I just keep thinking and thinking and thinking. But anywho, how long do you think I should keep this in here? I ain't even set my clock since my power went out a couple days ago, a week or so ago. <sighs> About a week ago, a week ago. Okay, so it's 9.40 oh, o'clock, 8 clock a.m. p.m. wait no <laughs> clock we're gonna say 9 49 clock 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 oh clock oh, I was gonna say can I not set the clock while I'm using the oven oh no we went too far Okay, um, okay, whatever, that's it. I feel like I need to flip it because I don't have a toaster, right? Right. I mean, like, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Like, I burn it. I got another one. Cause in four minutes. Oh, I need to put my vitamins in a baggie. I was gonna pack this whole little box because I'm extra like that. Mm, I probably should have sprayed that, but it is what it is. Okay, let's see now. Where'd that plate go? Oh, did I leave it? Yeah. Caliente. Mm. 
it didn't really give the like pull apart effect I was trying to give. Father, I thank you for this food that I'm not about to receive for the nourishment of my body for Christ's sake. Amen. And I know you're probably saying to yourself, Farron, you could have just made a grilled cheese. I don't have no bread. I always have cheese. I ain't have no bread. Okay. Well, this will do. It's okay. It's a nice little snack. It took a whole lot of work. I should probably just buy a toaster oven. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to watch Ready to Love and I'm going to go to sleep. I might pack some more. I might not. Guess y'all will find out tomorrow. Y'all, good morning. It's Saturday morning. It's about 8.20 a.m. I'm at Target. Well, I'm in Target's parking lot. I wanted to be at Target by 8 o'clock, so therefore I'm behind on my schedule. But nonetheless, I am up like somebody's auntie because I am somebody's auntie. And I'm about to pick up some snacks. A few little trinkets for the road. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we got the snacks. I always spend at least $25 anytime I go to Target. But I should have saved some money. I'll have to look at my receipt. Um, Where to next? UPS. So I can return those dresses that I didn't wear to the wedding. Uh, but right now, I'm doing a pickup order at Chick-fil-A. So add to order we're already in my mind on vacation so picking up a little break fast continue to check out uh, reload my chick-fil-a card per usual i only put ten dollars on there at a time though because i don't be trying to i like to be conscious of every time i'm going to chick-fil-a okay Okay, all right. It's only 8.35, I believe. So I feel like I'm making really good time, 8.38. So um, it really shouldn't take me too long at UPS. Maybe I'll be back home by nine o'clock and I can work for a couple hours before I finish packing and we get on the road. I am like such an adult today. I love that for me. Well, I'm all ready to go. It's 12.34. I have on this leather jacket just because I don't feel like um, carrying it because I have my life packed away. Like, I have three bags for a two-night trip. That's just how I... That's just how we roam. Um, so, the outfit is from Old Navy. My mama got it for me. These fleece leggings. Do I need them to be fleece? No. It's not that cold, but I'm actually quite cozy right now. And I also have on my... Um, new asics that are supposed to just be my workout shoes like i bought them and i told myself that i was gonna start working out once i bought them y'all tell me go to the gym once so yeah we're gonna work on that when i come back uh i actually just got hungry so i've been sitting here snacking on some pretzels because i don't want to open my um snacks for the road just yet and i'm drinking a body armor patiently waiting so yeah i have so much to carry that um I, there's no way i'm gonna be able to film me going down to her car so i'll probably see y'all on the road <laughs> I look so crazy right now, but it's Sunday morning and we are about to go to brunch. Obviously we made it. Oh, y'all are sliding. <laughs> Obviously, oh my God. Um, we got here 
probably around six yesterday evening. <clears throat> then we went to Whiskey Roots for dinner and drinks and that was good. That was really good. So I think today we're gonna try mimosas. That's the name of the breakfast brunch spot we're about to go to. And yeah. We were supposed to get up and watch the sunrise this morning. I was up. But I think we missed it somehow. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish getting ready. And I'll probably take you guys with us today. Today should be fun. about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Because I'm about to die. You want a chocolate chip? No. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. This is just like cookie, y'all. I'm going to eat a lot of it, but it's good. It's good. I wish it was a little warmer. Yeah. Hi. Can I have some butter? And um, I'm not going to need another mimosa. Is it pomegranate and strawberry flavor or do you think it's like this? Is it pomegranate or just pickles? Let me give you a few berries. And just some butter. Thank you. And I know that I know. I know that I know. Mm, come on, Chris. Come through. With it. Ew. Yeah. He was so young when this came out. Oh, 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 oh. Lisa, this your last day of being 34? I ain't not 35. Oh, damn, that is right. I'm 35. I'm about to be 36. A whole oh. loop out here. You were such a young whippersnapper when I met you. <laughs> your head has been like 10 years. It really has. I'm milfing now. Use the right lane to take the to merge onto the right lane. Babies and mamas is outside <laughs> in La Casa. <laughs>
y'all it's it's tuesday i got home yesterday and just couldn't really put my life together so now it's 4 15 on tuesday and i'm just now uh, rolling my luggage into my bedroom so i can start unpacking i have about 45 minutes until i need to leave for my this could be us book signing hold on Okay, so yeah, I'm just trying to be as productive as possible this week. I think I'm actually going to end the vlog after I go to this book signing. I don't know. I'm I'm really kind of tired. We had such a good time at the beach, but your girl didn't take any time off from work. So I'm like working to make up for yesterday. And if you haven't noticed, I haven't posted a video on YouTube in almost a week. And I was just doing so well at being consistent that I don't I don't want to like stop that. So um, I think it's just really important that I settle down and do what needs to be done and stick to the task at hand. So we're going to start some laundry. I got my dirty clothes in this bag. I I don't know if I'm just like a germaphobe, but like I have the shoes that I wore in a bag. I have my dirty clothes in a separate bag because I don't want my dirty clothes touching my clean clothes and I don't want my shoes touching my clean clothes either. Do y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all even think about that? Am I just overthinking per usual? Probably, but um, yeah, I just had to let you guys know I made it home. Oh. Did y'all see how beautiful the beach was yesterday? I hate that the last day we were there was like the most beautiful day. But I definitely feel better as a person. I was actually talking to Lisa today. And um, I have a tendency to kind of be, to kind of be anxious while I'm sitting at my desk working. Or if something crazy happens, like, y'all know, like, I'll sit here and overthink and overthink. Did this spill? How did that happen? Oh, no, me gusta. At least it's not, like, out here. But, yeah, like, I have this tendency to, like, think in circles. I didn't have any of that today. So, I don't know if it was the ocean breeze or... Or the Destiny Fulfilled concert that Lisa and I had on our drive back home. But either way, my mind feels clear. The only thing that is kind of bothering me now is I haven't been able to sleep well. And that's not like me. I am the type of person that um, when I lay down and close my eyes, I don't know nothing. I don't even know I'm in this world, as my grandma used to say, until I open my eyes the next day. And it was, I don't know, like every night at the beach, I could only sleep for like one or two hours at a time. I was waking up like every other hour. Um, last night, I couldn't sleep even though I was at home. And that is just not like me. So... The reason I'm just now starting this vlog is because like I had to lay down. I took like a 10 minute nap and I was in a deep sleep for that 10 minutes. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. But hopefully I can go to this book signing and not be too wound up and maybe drink my sleepy girl mocktail and see if that helps. But okay, uh, let me start this laundry. And I don't know if I'm going to shower. I showered last night. I looked like a bum because I was working. But yeah, we're going to throw some clothes on. And I'll take you guys with me. My goodness, y'all. I have been needing to wrap this vlog up for days. Um, Let's chat really quick. Um... So the book signing, I wasn't close enough to like actually record it. It was a lot of people there, way more people than I anticipated. I got there around 6.40 and because it started at 7, but they actually said that like people had been there since like 4.30 waiting. And so um, that kind of goes to tell you like 
your girl didn't have the best uh seats or view or anything like that um it actually was a lot longer than i expected as well she gave some great insight into this could be us sorry y'all y'all are sliding per usual she gave some really great insight to the book and like she just talked you know so it was really nice i didn't realize she was from north carolina she's a carolina girl love that for us um but y'all the longest part was i waited like an hour and a half to get my book signed and every 30 minutes i was like okay fair you've been here this long you might as well keep waiting but i almost gave out like we stood it was that many people so, I mean, kudos to her. Shout out to Kennedy Ryan. Like, I love that for her. Um, and, you know, it was such a really nice experience. I met I met people. I have new social media friends. Um, and it was just a good time. And, like, yeah, everything about it was necessary. I'm really happy that I've been kind of, like, in my own bubble lately and just kind of doing things that make me happy. And I've just been to myself but definitely going to that book signing was out of my comfort zone was something i told one of my friends and he was like you're doing what and i was like yeah and i mean it wasn't anything like extravagant it was just a new experience and honestly like an opportunity to network so you know i feel like good things are happening in 2024 uh i just have to you know stay on path and stay connected to it but yeah this ended up being a week-long vlog anyways i haven't done anything else like today's thursday so yesterday i just kind of like did nothing i feel like everything just kind of piled up on your girl and i just was like i i can't so that's why y'all oh my earring that's why y'all really didn't see me yesterday and i didn't come back tuesday night because it was it was almost like 10 it was a little after 10 when i got home and i left at like five something so yeah it was kind of it was definitely a to-do an ordeal so but yeah it was worth it um so that is it for this week's vlog i'm probably gonna put the camera down for this weekend i don't really know what this weekend's gonna entail so I'm going to just chill. I actually have so much content that I need to get up for y'all. Y'all won't know the difference. Um, I just want to apologize. I've just been trying to get my life back together. Once I get like out of it, I'll be completely out of it. But yes, I hope all is well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you in the next one.